Hello everyone, this is Bloodfed for a new pauper video and this time not a just pauper. This time we're gonna be playing pure pauper. That is, in case you guys are unaware, there has been an event hosted by Arctic Ghost. It's a custom event where we will be competing in a pauper tournament where nothing is banned. So all these 16 bad boys that has been banned in pauper over time, all of them are allowed. So you will probably see decks like mono black with him and sinkhole, in fact with uh, invigorate, affinity with cranial plating, storm with anti deverence and grape shot. But uh, you guys know me. That is not what I came here to talk about. We are of course going to be playing a blue deck and not just any blue deck. We're gonna play the supreme blue deck. High Tide. I believe the strategy should be that uh, we should be playing a deck that is able to win very early. Because our opponents like Storm, Infect, there are decks that can explode out of nowhere that are hard to interact with. Therefore, you just want to be able to win games as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. High Tide is a way to do that. This deck can win on turn two at least some amount of the time and on turn three quite easily, I would say. Of course, it depends on how much interaction our opponents have, but uh, we are prepared for, I'd say, almost everything. I guess we'll soon see. Anyway, a quick deck tech. We are playing with only 16 islands, but that's okay. We only really need two or three of them. We have 12 cantrips slash card draw, uh, two treasure crews in the main, two in the sideboard, because as strong as this card is, again, against those decks that are just playing to force their combo as soon as possible, we don't need to go on the value boat but we will need these against like mono black or counter spell heavy matchups. There it will be great. We have some tutors, four of Mer Merchant's Claw mm -hmm. and one of Muddled Mixture. Mm -hmm. There we have our basically mana ramp package. We have mm -hmm. Cloud of Fairies, mm -hmm. Snap, Phrenic Surge, mm -hmm. Ghostly Flicker. Mm -hmm. All of them can make mana along with high tide. So when one high tide is active, every island makes one more blue mana when it's tapped. And this stacks, so we can stack several high tides if we wish. Even though most of the time one high tide is good enough to get the win. Like the most common combo would be play high tide, play a uh, cloud of fairies, Un untapping two islands, play Archeomancer, and then you are flickering Archeomancer and fairies, getting back the flicker and triggering the fairy, mm -hmm. because uh, mm -hmm. flicker costs three mana only, mm -hmm. fairy gives you four mana mm -hmm. with the islands in high tide. So this is infinite mana loop. There's other ways to go about it. Uh, in case, for example, you don't have the fairy, you could go with uh, triple high tide. Triple high tide, Archimancer, and then flicker the Archimancer and an island. Or snap instead of flicker. This makes mana as well. You might say three high tide is a lot, but it's not really. You can get it going, especially like every snap, every flicker is potentially a new high tide if you have the arcane answer in play. So it's not that difficult. The last option would be, I believe, two high tides active and then you need two arcane answers, uh, a flicker and a flicker three islands and a frantic search. So this time you're flickering on two Archimancers, getting black flicker, Phrenic Surge, Phrenic Surge when played untaps. So again, you're netting mana every time, as well as digging through your deck. 
how do we actually win? There's like a bunch of neat things we can do in the meantime, but uh, the actual win con is a compelling argument on our opponent indefinitely. Alternatively, just bounce all their stuff with cap size, but cap size is important. Uh, it is important so that we have to like infinitely re-trigger Archaeomancers once we make infinite mana. The sideboard is kind of universal to fight stuff like in effect, counter spells, uh, mono black and counter spells, uh, land destruction, kind of random stuff with spell starter sprite. We can even like transform sideboard a little bit with it because we also happen to have cloud of fairies, so that's a lot of fairies to make good use of the counter spell trigger. But anyway, the event is starting soon, so enough talking, let's see how we do. All right, there we go, round one. If land looks kind of land heavy, we could definitely do better, but... Uh, hmm, I don't want to mulligan to Oblivion either, but I think, yeah, let's mulligan this one. Okay, much better. Much better, we'll be binning one of the islands. Oh, okay. So probably some fair-ish deck. I guess they will have like Cloud of Fairies and Treasure Cruise and whatnot. Uh, something to look out for is uh, definitely foils and daisies. Expect those to be plentiful in our opponent's deck. But other than that, we can take care of the counter spells by Giga Drows. That's actually the only dedicated piece of interaction we have in the deck, if you can even call that interaction. Huh, I don't want us play in the sprite here. Might as well wait. Cycle here. And yeah, I'm just waiting for the moment. Even if they don't have the sprite, even if it's counter spell they have, I think this is fine. It looks like they are. And step gush. Oh, that's never a good play, man. Uh, I don't know what are they trying to do, but. That's just not a good use of the card. So by the way, we have the combo already, so... Okay, that's perfect. Let's get some information. Counter Counter Sprite, Cloud of Fairies. And we drew the Giga Drugs. <laughs> oh, this is... This is insane. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> what is there to do? Sure. Okay, so unless they drew like foil exactly, we should be fine. And uh, doesn't really matter if we do this uh, twice or three times. Okay, sure. Okay, let's get the party started. An opponent F6, so it looks like uh, we should be good here. 
I'm gonna need to play fast. I won't commentate that much, guys, so sorry about that. Just thinking, yeah, we should be... Uh, we should do our best to play around like days. Even though they clearly don't have it, but... Might as well play it correctly. Alright, so at this point we assembled our combo already. Flicker on these two is infinite mana loop. But we only make one mana each time, so I would like to get some high tides online first. Some extra high tides, I mean. And sorry, I'm really gonna stop commenting extensively and just focus on the loop. You can deduce uh, what I'm doing easily enough. All right, finally. Now we can start milling our opponent.
All right. So this was technically a turn five kill, but we were rather safe. So uh, well, let's see what sideboarding does for us. So for this, we definitely want to be bringing in the extra gigadrosis. Giga I would be inclined to uh, get a land for that purpose as well, but uh, we are on the draw, so we probably don't need to. And there's a thought to put in this spell. Uh, Cruise our options, gut shot as well, but I don't actually need, I don't actually think we need that. Uh, so let's actually not gut shot. I honestly don't know how I want to approach this matchup exactly. My inclination is to kind of do not so many changes now and uh, see later. I think we can cut like two of these. And yeah, overall I think just... When unsure, go with the minimal sideboarding. Only one land, everything kind of expensive. We'll have to ship that. That's much better. We don't need the extra Archimancer. Uh, three flickers is a lot. That's all our flickers. Maybe I should have bent a flicker instead of Archimancer. That's kind of close. On the bright side, we are kind of close to winning. We just need a fairy and uh something to draw cards with, like any card draw spell. Because remember, once you make infinite mana, you actually need to have something to draw your deck with. Even in the uh, graveyard, that's fine, but... Alright, if our opponent wants to sit back and do nothing, I'm very much fine with playing that kind of game. I guess they're just gonna start smashing with sprites. Fine by me. Do they have ninjas in their deck? If so, that's uh, annoying. But the card advantage, again, the card advantage doesn't really matter that much. Huh. I kind of wanna play this. I kind of do. Uh, we could play it in the opponent's turn even if we wanted to. Hmm. Yeah, just to make sure they are wasting their mana. I think that's good. If they want to play something here, do we search? I guess we won't get the option. They have a lot of lands now though. That is something to be worried about, of course, because we are kind of limited with our Giga Drowst and they technically don't need to deploy any more creatures. Like this is plenty beat downs going on. So they wanna get their good their good turn there. I mean we could like we could if we want to we could Giga Drows now and try to go for it next turn. We'll have a good amount of mana. 
I mean, I think it's actually better doing this now rather than waiting. So, yeah, I know we could very well fizzle. But I think we'll just have to take the risk. Okay, they're just gonna play something. So yeah, this is this is risky. But uh, we basically need to draw. Oh. All right. Hmm. That's strong. Okay. Mm. Uh, did I misplay with the tap tapping then? It's possible. Yeah, that's kind of brutal. Yeah, in that case, I'm not going for anything. No, I think it actually that didn't matter what we tap. Like, if they have snap, they are kind of gonna outplay us that way. Uh, no matter what, yeah. Okay then, this will be tough. I don't think I'm winning this game anymore. Okay, they're rebuying Sprite. Getting some extra cards. And another land, so that's a lot. We definitely need to friendly search here and like try to draw a counter. They will let us do this, okay. So technically we have one more turn. So let's see. He might be tempted to car this, but it's not that great for them if they car that, yeah. So, uh, hmm. Okay, there's a cloud of fairies. That is really strong, so I think we have to take, we have to keep that. Yeah, so let's go top, top, top. No shuffles, pass. Planning to impulse in their end step. And we kind of have to hit another high tide. Is what we need because the first one is getting card for sure. That's a lot of cards. I will let them do this because I actually want them to counter the impulse. I think.
they're looking for something, so... I don't know how many cars do they have. If they want to counter this, sure. Okay, so let's try this first. Yeah, they do have to car. Okay, let's uh, frenic search in response. Might as well. Even though we don't actually have anything to counter the sprite, so it doesn't matter. And yeah, we lose here. Nothing we could have done there. All right, uh, we will need to win faster, and I would actually like a little bit more interaction. So let's get the dispel in. And uh, I think other than that, uh, I'm good here. I could even see cutting a cruise. Like, my plan really is to win fast against them. Cruise is not a win fast kind of card. It's more like if you're like trading spells and car matching and whatnot, but uh, I think I'm fine cutting it, to be honest. Yeah, let's see. We'll be on the play this time. Uh, come on, have to mulligan again. This is brutal. Oh, seriously? Back! Okay, so we went to four. Mm, not pretty. Do we bend the Giga Draws? Such a good card against them. Yeah, but I don't think we're gonna make it work when we're on a multi four. Because it requires a lot of lands and we'll have to work with very limited resources this game. Uh, I'm gonna button both, even though Archimeter would be good, of course. This deck doesn't Morrigan terribly well, I'll tell you that. Going to 4 is definitely unfortunate. On the other hand, I think Mono Blue Delver is like one of my tougher matchups. So even if I lose here, I think my chances are solid still. And I'm just gonna sprite. I kind of wish I kept those cruises around then. Because realistically I will need a cruise to kind of get back into this game. That's not terrible. Unless I get dazed, of course. Brutal. could transmute yeah we don't have a ton of time here so I think let's start off with transmute or like impulse is I think what we want here
Impulse is good because next turn we'll know better what we are looking for. So rather than like getting the ferry here, who knows, maybe we will draw the ferry and then we are looking for Archimancer or we are looking for High Tide or... Yeah, the thing is we are multiple pieces away. So again, Cruise will be a must. And we have like two turns, maybe just one turn, depending on what creatures they have. Uh, okay, let's pass. I'll actually put a stop here on their second main. Hopefully they Tap some mana out. Uh, if not, that's difficult then. Mm, let's start off with an impulse anyway. Do you want to dispel? Okay. Let's... Uh... Go to their end step. He had rouse. Trying to pull something off, but uh, again, I don't think we have like the card quantity to be able to force it. That doesn't help, right? Yeah, because if we search with for high tide with this, we don't have enough mana after. Brutal. Uh, yeah, I think we're done here. There's actually nothing we can uh, scroll for. All right then. Got a bit unlucky there, but uh, that's okay. We'll see you next round. There we are for round two on the play. With a decent hand, I mean, we're two pieces off of uh, going off, and it's kind of high tide heavy, but I think we have to keep this. Hope for the best with our draw steps. All right, let's go. Planes. Slivers. What the? What kind of benefit do slivers get from the ban list? I can't think of any unless you're like splashing, splashing blue for treasure cruise. I guess invigorate, but it's kind of meh still. Anyway, uh, we're getting, uh, I believe, impulse. Yeah, impulse for sure. Yes, we're only missing the arcane answer. Okay, if it's poisonous, uh, but I guess poisonous doesn't stack with damage, so like pairing that with invigorate doesn't actually do anything. Mm, let's start off with preordain. If we find another cantrip or a land, we take that. Yes, taking a land might be kind of a luxury we might not be able to afford. We are under pressure after all, even though it's kind of medium. But who knows, let's see what the opponent's deck has to offer. Sure, 
Sure. Two more flanking slivers. Good, we are not blocking. Oh, kind of blanking, but uh, I mean, treasure crew is... We can fire it off next turn, right? If we high tide, uh, 4 mana, 5, 6, 7, and we're one short. We're still gonna take it. If we do like high tide cloud next turn, that kind of works, I guess. Alright, alright. Take the cruise. Okay, high tide here. Let's actually ferry. Yeah, I will play the cloud. There's an arcane answer. Perfect. In that case, let us just go for the win. Uh, I guess I realized we don't actually have a, a win for sure, right? Kind of stupid. I should have gotten a preordain instead of high tide. Yeah, I'm being kind of sloppy there. Mm, so what we need to do is make a lot of mana now. And then cruise. I think this should do though. Kind of scary. Okay, we should be getting there now. Or maybe not. <laughs> All right, there we go. We have it. Perfect. Let's get the flicker. Let's flicker Archimancers. Get him back, search flicker. And we just need the mill cart. What's this? Oh, opponent conceding. Okay, okay. 
they've seen enough, I guess. I will thank them for conceding because that is in fact nice of them. I'll have to go through this loop. Oh wait, did they set one round? Ooh. Okay, I'll have to ask them about that. All right, here we go for round three. Last round, our opponent indeed uh, conceded. They conceded from the tournament, which I don't blame them for while playing slivers. But anyway, let's get to this one. My deck is not kind to me as far as opening hands go so far, but... Oh, this one is really good though. I should stop complaining. Yeah, so... One flicker goes away. That's no problem though. And we could potentially have turn two here. Uh, we have to ship these. If we top deck ferry, we win turn two. I guess are likely to win turn two. It's actually not for sure. In fact, oh, they get the information. But yeah, it must be one of the infected decks. So they do know what's up. And there's a turn one glistener, so that is dangerous, but uh, well, we just threw an island, we cannot win, so we'll pass, but uh, we're like pretending they don't know one card, so we're pretending we are holding up snap, maybe. We might have to go for it next turn, which... Uh, I don't love having to do that. I would prefer to wait. Well, if they don't have any more lands... Hmm. Yeah, they just hit us for one. I could see waiting one more turn. It's not safe trying to go off now. Yeah, it's definitely not safe trying to go off at the moment. Like, if we wait just one turn, our chances grow a lot. I mean they could just kill us. But we can like we can always in response bring Nixer to try to hit uh, a snap. We can always try to do that. Rankers okay. Another sprawl. I don't know why are they playing that card. It doesn't seem particularly good to me for any reason in this deck. Unless they're playing it like uh, with uh, Ancestral Mask or, you know, kind of enchantments based kind of infect. Which seems kind of slow to me. I, I would not go that route myself. Uh, what I prefer to do is just win games right off the bat. I mean, we don't have the win for sure, but uh, we're gonna do our best here. Okay, so we uh, let's actually frantic search first. That didn't help a ton. Mm, do I want to play the high tide? I kind of don't actually. Scrap Ponder. 
we just need what we need is like uh, merchant scroll uh, cap size another arguments or that kind of thing Fire of the Ponder. Hmm. Let's get the snap off of it. Is that best? Yeah, it kind of is. Get the ponder again. Keep making manas for the while. Alright, see what this ponder has to offer. <laughs> There's another ponder. Yeah, sure. Uh, another flicker that doesn't really do anything. Okay, so we'll just need to pre take the preordain I don't like that no if we take flicker we can take a better cantrip all right all right Let's take the ponder again off of this one. There's a cap size. All right, we win. No shuffles. We can safely spend the high tide. High tide now. Just need to speed up. Right, there's the argument, that's nice. 
Let's find a second Archaeomancer. There he is, finally. All right, finally. Took a lot of time there. I might have to, my computer is kind of laggy as well. I might have to do something about that. Anyway, so looking at their list. Ooh, they have a reckless charge. That's spicy. Other than that, I don't really see anything uh, too worthwhile. Actually, do they have wines? I don't see any vines of Westwood. That is uh, good to note. Hmm. So we want the gachats, I think. Like they can be really, really fast. Uh, so I like having the gachat. Uh, I think even sprites could be real good here. I'm not sure if I can stick all of them in though. I can definitely cut a cruise, that seems safe. Cutting one flicker seems alright. Giga Drows, I mean it could buy me a turn. It could. I think like a sprite is better though, in most cases. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then cut tough uh, that's a tough time to cut something maybe we don't need all the sprites we could cut the model i mean 
it's nice to have to be able to find compelling argument fast enough but i think we might have to win without milling them this time hmm. cut one more sprite maybe we can cut one phrenic search actually yeah that seems okay it took a lot of time because last game i had to take it kind of slow and safe because i wasn't sure whether i have the combo or not so we took more time there but uh, hopefully we should have enough to finish this and this ha this hand is kind of nuts obviously needs a second island so this ponder needs to deliver and uh, we still need flicker to be able to go infinite. And there's the land. And there's a sprite, but we don't need that. Yeah, I'm, ju I'm just gonna look for the combo. Yes, shuffle. Uh, not terrible. I mean, in conjunction with uh, Phrenic Search, Chris is nice, for sure. But I mean, also, if they're not pressuring us, then that's perfect for us. Just have plenty of time here. Okay, there's a mirror. So we would like to win next turn. So would we like to cycle this, or is it better to keep it for the mana? I think I'm actually fine cycling here. It's also a card in the yard to cruise. Mm -hmm. Maybe we don't need to? Hmm. It's not sure that we have it. And I think we can win this. Like, with, with, that the sprite is enough. It will only have five cards. Yeah, I think... I think this is fine. If they play something pre-combat, yeah, I'm snapping off the sprite. If they have, like, gut shot for it, that's fine. That means that my Cloud of Fairies is not getting gut shotted. That's, like, one of the possible answers they could have sided in, maybe. Uh, do we even block? I think we do because we just win next turn and it's a card in the yard. So yeah, let's block. Okay, let's let's just go for it now. Tide is high. Let's cloud. Tap. Into frantic search. Oof. Okay, so uh, can we exile everything? Or do we want to like keep the high tide in? I want to. I might want to keep the high tide. Yeah, so the second high tide. Now, we could get a third. It's going down to one mana. Uh, we still need a snap or. Hmm. Let's impulse first. Okay, there's a flicker. That is easy then.
All right, provided ten mi nine minutes is enough to win, should be plenty. Just writing to the to the opponent if they want to concede. If not, that's fine. Just trying to be mindful of their time as well. Okay, that's a ton of mana there. Yeah. This is more like it. Let's just take the cruise for starters. Right, there's an Archimancer. That's nice. But, uh... Okay, we need to find the mill card. Let's actually... Yeah, we have enough time, so let's just find it. Play it safe. Impulse shouldn't take too long to do that. All right, there it is. And there we have it. See you in the next round. All right, there we go, round four. Ooh, up against, I guess, Storm. Uh, we'll soon find out. I'm fine giving up the two life, I do believe. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay then, will be a race. So what are we looking for? High tide, we, we can get that with scroll though. Uh, cloud of fairies and uh, yes, I actually don't want any of those. Oh, that didn't help too much. So again, high tide, we can get that now, which I probably will, yeah. Thing is, we could be just dead, but uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do. Just grab the high tide, pass. They are just using sign in blood. Okay. Okay then. I suspect highly, however, that they are going to go for it next turn. And they do have a nice start, it kind of depends. Yeah, but I don't like passing the turn at all. So can we win here? We just need arguments, right? And we have a ton of mana, so... Let's see what we can do. Cast this. Uh, I need to actually not auto yield to these because of possible flickers later. Okay, so start off with Prio. Phrenic Search. Hmm. Do you want that even? It's card disadvantage, remember. I think we can do better. Yeah, especially without the third land. I think we can do a little bit better. Okay, so six cards. Hmm. Do we want like a high tide here? It would be a lot of mana. But we can potentially brick. Hmm. I think I'm gonna take it anyway. Alright, so eight cards in our yard. Uh, can we exile all of them reasonably? I think we can, right? Yeah. This is good. Oof, kind of bricked there. Muddle. Muddle gets us. We can get Muddle actually. Uh, Model is 3 mana, gets us scroll, and that gets us impulse, which we haven't played yet. But that's uh, 7 mana, that's a lot, but I think it's our best bet. Let's actually do this first, make some manas. Oh, we can get the impulse right away, of course. That's better. Come on. Uh, Preordain, our best bet. Come on. Another Preordain. That's not good. Uh, come on, deck. No! Okay, uh, I guess we can 
capsize with buyback once. Let's do that, sure. But we fizzled. Yeah, we fizzled. That's tough. I think I saw a lot of cards there. Did not get there though. The treasure cruise was kind of sad. So let's see, can they do this now? <laughs> it's like I go off, it's only fair the opponent gets to go off as well. Okay, we're dead. They get the grape shot, we know that, so... Unless they discarded it, they did not, so... Yeah, we're dead here. Might as well let them go through it, let them have their fun, but... Yeah, this is over. Hmm. Uh, do we even sideboard against this? I mean, we can get rid of the Gadraus, I believe. Uh, thing is, do we have anything to take in that's like compelling enough? I think our best bet is just to go for maximum speed. Again, like this could have been easily a turn 3 kill for us. But the opponent's deck, the storm deck I believe is like, uh, they are most likely to go off on turn 3. They can technically go off turn 1, but that is extremely unlikely. Even turn 2 wins are very rare, but turn 3 is kind of realistic. Turn 3 to go off, sometimes turn 4, like they did now. This is turn 4. Wait, they did not grape shot us? What? I don't understand. I mean, we're dead anyway. Uh, are we? Yeah, because... Yeah, there's nothing we can do. But yeah, sometimes they go off, but they need to pass the turn. So that's another delay for them. So anyway, sideboarding. So I believe Giga Drowse is kind of bad. Other than that, let's leave like the full combo in. I'm actually thinking to bring in extra island just for like making the deck more stable. It seems so medium to be siding in like counter magic against them. I just don't want to be playing that kind of game. I think I can win on speed. That's gonna be my plan. Yes, let's play first. Hmm, hand is a bit slow. Could be better for sure. I think I'm gonna mull again. Because we need like... Okay, this is high tide or flicker if we need, but we still need Archimancer. I guess Archimancer and that's it, but we don't have any... Library manipulation. Yeah, let's just go for better. Yeah, I'll take this. I'll take this for sure. Uh, I guess binning one ponder seems reasonable. And so we need uh, a flicker or snap, which we can get with scroll. So we are mostly on the lookout for Archimancer and uh, Fairy. Pondering. 
Wonder is the better cantrip to leave lead off with, since we can at least shuffle one card with the scroll next turn, or scry it away with preordain, should we choose to. Well, and started with seven cards, but they took a while to think of their decision. Uh, this is not good at all. I don't think. Yeah, let's get something else. That's good. Okay, there you know of these five. So question is, next turn do we... Wow, no lands. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will preordain first. Uh, don't think I have particular need for any of these. Can cycle this at any time. Might as well. So they kept a no lander, but their hand could be stacked. But I mean, if we draw Archimancer here, uh, we don't draw Archimancer. Okay then, in that case, let's just scroll for... Hmm, what do we even scroll for? I think I need to win next turn, so... Uh, impulse is not that great. I think we want to get a Phrenic Surge here. That kind of maximizes the chances we go off, I think. Playing the third land, I think is correct, even though, yes, we need some discard order, so... Okay, they're going off. But again, like, their deck also might fizzle. Okay, might as well F6 now. They might fizzle, and even if they don't fizzle, they might not actually win this turn. They might just put in a bunch of tokens. But yeah, our draws mm, these two games sadly hasn't been the strongest. Like, uh, last turn we went off turn 3 and uh, fizzled. Now we uh, are a little bit short of going off. Okay, so if they have two gut shots now, they win. Not gut shots, grape shots, I mean. Uh, there's the empty. Oh, and a bushwhacker. Wow. Okay. Okay then. Good beats. Well then, this is a four round Swiss with a cut to top eight. I went two and two, so I'm not sure whether I made it or not. Alright, here I am after the tournament has finished for a quick recap. Sadly, we ended up ninth on tiebreakers, so we just barely did not get into the top 8. I still stand by my deck choice. I think we got maybe a little bit unlucky and hey, it's a card game. Hopefully we'll get our shot next time. But anyway, it was a sweet tournament. In case you're wondering about the meta, there was 
a bunch of mono black decks, a couple infect decks and affinity decks. I was actually the only real blue combo player. There was no one really abusing high tides or cloud of fairies or phrenic searches that much. But yeah, after seeing me take uh, 10 minutes to go off with the combo, I can see how people might be reluctant to pick high tide or such deck. You saw there was a mono blue driver, there was a perfect storm deck, even a Deluxe Cough showed up and uh, finished up second with, with his uh, mono red empty the warrant slash kiln feet combo. And uh, what ended up winning actually is a uh, blue red cloud post drake deck. So that was kind of against my expectations. Again, I went in with the idea that uh, I want to play a proactive deck rather than reactive ones because there is so many fast strategies that approach the game from different angles, whether they are attacking with creatures or putting up infect counters or just storming off. So I would think it's gonna be difficult to answer, but in the end a control deck won, so that is kind of surprising yet exciting. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I'm hoping there will be more of these tournaments, so definitely keep an eye on that in case you wanna join in next time. See you around.